This is Red Band coming to you live from the Speakeasy at the 2017 Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Austin, Texas, make some fucking noise. You are the number one live podcast in the world. Holy shit, holy shit. A bunch of Austin people signed up. Look at this little tiny. Josh, are all the names in this thing? Wow, look at that. Like fucking 10 scared shitless people. Wow. A bunch of goddamn pussies out there afraid to sign up to do 60 seconds, huh? Uh, you guys ready to have a fun fucking show tonight or what? I know I am. Let's just jump right into it. No promotions, no commercials. I think that Moon Tower uh, recording did that all for us right from the top. Thank you to Jolly Rancher, Sprite, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, every fucking thing in the world. Uh, so let's just do it. You guys love great comedians? You guys like some of the funniest human beings on the planet? Great. My three guests tonight are Big J Okerson, Sal Volcano, and Dom Irera. Make some fucking noise, Austin. Here we go. Sal Volcano, the impractical joker. Big J Okerson, what's your fucking deal on CISO? And Dom Irera, one of the greatest of all time. The GOAT, Dom Irera. <laughs> you guys can take those mics out of those things if you want, or you could leave them in, whatever you want. We normally don't have them. I like to, I like to like hold them. midget sitting in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> it is sort of a high table and a fucking... I like it. Less work for me. I like it. I'm excited. But hey, hey you guys seem like you're in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have all done this show before. I'm super pumped to have you, uh, have you back. How many uh, Kill Tony... How many of you have heard this show before and are fans of the show? Fuck yeah. It's very exciting. You never know with these comedy festivals. Sometimes it's a bunch of goddamn strangers. You know what I mean? But I'm excited about this. Uh, if you're a fan of the show as much as I am, then you know that my favorite part of this entire show, through all the crazy shit that goes on, is we have a band on Kill Tony. And believe it or not, one of the first times that we've had a, uh, a band member at the festival that we're at with us, one is here. It just so happens to be the great... Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. You know him from Reagan and Watkins. Kill Tony, the goddamn comedy jam, roast battle, his own show stand up on the spot, the future, Jeremiah motherfucking Watkins. The only white member of the all black wave on roast battle. How does all black wave sound more racist than all Negro waves? <laughs> <laughs> it goes both ways. They're all terrible people. Um, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. That's a joke. I was raised in an all black neighborhood. That's where a lot of the swagger that you're Ooh. seeing tonight comes from. <laughs> thank you. Brian, thank you. Really couldn't wait to get that one out. Put your hands together for the great Josh Martin over here running around, taking care of us, looking like he's built out of Legos for some reason. Well, I'm excited about this. Uh, not, a, I guess, not a ton of people signed up. I'm sort of surprised about that. Last time we did Austin, we've done it a couple times. This is actually the, the smallest amount of people. Spider with, House Ballroom. Yeah. There's only like a hundred people that sign up. And bunch very, of pussies in Texas, I guess. Yeah, I Just kidding. Jesus Christ. Anybody want to sign up now? <laughs> If anybody wants to sign up now, find Josh Martin over on the side if you have the balls and if you think you can make us laugh and fucking have Howie? some fun with us. You know how it works. Comedians come on stage, you get pulled out of this thing and you randomly do 60 seconds. After that, we talk to you maybe about your set, maybe about anything in the world. Maybe we just interview you about your normal life and find something more funny about you than what you actually talked about. <laughs> you know how it works. You get 60 seconds. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Oh, you can barely hear that. Why don't you turn it up a little bit, Brian? Ah! There you go. Wow, he has his hand on a volume control the entire time. You wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. You don't want that to happen. Because as you'll see, it's embarrassing when you're talking and then that happens. So wrap it up in 60 seconds. You guys ready to start the motherfucking show or what? Yeah! 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 
You never know who's going to sign up for these things. Sometimes it's a, you know, one of the top local comedians in a place like this. Sometimes it's a completely insane person that just signs up for random things on lists on the sidewalk and then sticks around. And watch out for the stairs. The stairs are over here, so if you get uh, yeah. called, watch out. There's a lot of cables and shit. I so. mean, and don't yeah. stand up too fast. You get lightheaded. Yeah. <laughs> Ease into it. You guys ready to start this thing or what? This is the actual start of the show. We are in it. I'm pulling a name out. They get an uninterrupted 60 seconds, and then we talk to them about anything in the world. Wow. This is actually, uh, this person I actually know, he has signed up for multiple Kill Tonys around the country and never gotten pulled. And he showed up here. He drove all the way from Kansas for this. Uh, put your hands together for Trey Thompson, everybody. <laughs> People ask me all the time if I play basketball. I don't. I'm not good at it. The only thing I'm good at playing is with bitches' emotions. <laughs> I deliver pizzas. I think you should always tip the man who delivers your pizza. I also think you should tip the man who delivers your baby. I didn't tip my doctor, and I got my baby with spit on it. Didn't even notice until I was halfway through my meal. You guys need me to spoon feed that punchline to you, or...? You guys know that sibling rivalry game where the older brother holds the younger brother down and acts like they're going to spit in their face, and right before the spit touches their face, he sucks it back up? I had three brothers, so two would hold me down and one would take a shit on my face. But it wasn't disgusting, because right before the shit would touch my face, he'd suck it back up into his asshole. Or at least that's what he told me he tried to do. The last thing I want to do before I die is kill myself. There you go. That cat is too quiet, Brian. It's too quiet. That needs to be louder so that everybody can hear it. Trey Thompson, everybody. Tony motherfucking Hinchley. Answering the age-old question, where's Waldo? <laughs> Found him. He signed up for a show in Austin, Texas. So this is it. How do you feel? You've wanted to do this for a long time. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? No, this is what I've been trying to do for a the year. Funny, my favorite part of that set, through all the jokes that it seems like you worked really hard to write, was by far the seven seconds of you unwinding the cord on the mic stand. It's very impressive. Have you Thank practiced you. that before? You used to wireless mics or something? You were wireless? Just wasn't prepared. <laughs> wow, that was the Tony, saddest he's answer. He's from this angle because he looks like a giant baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> the killer boy. You really are. You look like some type of like fifth grader that got like run over by a semi truck and came back to life, just stretched out. You know the moment I love that we'll never have again is right after the words, "I want to kill myself," and then you just hear a sax go. <laughs> I know uh, Trey. Also, we hung out in Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, Stanford. At Stanford and Sons, mm -hmm. and Trey was very cool. He brought me weed. We almost I went to a movie. He did say the words Tony Hinchcliffe the better part of 400 times that weekend. Yeah, so this, is a big deal. this is a big deal for him. Yeah. And uh, Trey's a good kid. Yeah, dark. <laughs> dark. A minute of dark comedy yeah. is always going to seem darker, even because you're not even. You can't get a ga gauge for the actual personality. So yeah. it's just like murder. Right. And yeah. he does. Naturally, look at a guy who's gonna kill a girl and then keep her and change her clothes every day. Uh. <laughs> I think it's very gracious of you that you would hang out with an open micer. I would never hang out with an open micer. <laughs> He's a good kid. I got a lot of credits. <laughs> He's talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> is your uh, is your whole set dirty? Like, are you like? The whole thing. Uh, how much time I, do you think you've compiled? I got about seven minutes. About seven minutes. I started in June, last June. How come you didn't do any of the seven minutes here tonight? Oh, I'm kidding, guys. Oh, oh, it's look what he signed up for. Oh. <laughs> I thought he packed a lot. You, I've done the show before, and I think out of everyone I saw, even on that show, there's like 20 comics. You packed the most into, you're very efficient with your minute outside of the, the full pile with the, with the wire. But it was very aggressive and depressing in that one minute. 
It's true. So it was effective if the goal of comedy is to be aggressive and depressing. <laughs> but it was, it was fun. I liked some, some of the jokes. Um, I think it's funny that you have tried to get on for a year, and you traveled all the way here to get on here, and we only got like nine names. It would have been hysterical if you picked... <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was <laughs> you thinking picked about eight, that. and he just well, didn't sorry, get picked. Well, sorry, that's it, everybody. Sorry to Trey Thompson, who uh, didn't get picked tonight. It looks like we're uh, one, minute, we are one minute over. <laughs> How long was your drive getting here? You got hours. here today. and you I, got, I, got to, I went to Houston yesterday. Oh, what'd you do in Houston? I st I'm staying with Jake Walker, the blind guy that got up in Houston last time. We, the, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys, oh, you guys know what he's uh, talking about? Oh, blind Jake. Does, does he know you're staying with him? Or do you, do you just... <laughs> just the regular, <laughs> regular blind guy? <laughs> Red band! <laughs> what did I do this time? Did you, 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 said, you said you had a 12-hour drive? Yeah. Did you practice your set 720 times? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do really. math on that. I do math jokes, so... Trey, if you do kill yourself, don't hang yourself, because I'm going to assume you were just trying to jerk off. <laughs> so you traveled here 20 hours with a blind guy? No, he, he lives in Houston. Oh. I drove to stay at his And he's home. the one with the car. Yeah, he, he drove you here. <laughs> he drives with the stick outside the window. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy long stick. It's a, <laughs> it's a long, yeah, he's gotta, you got to be real careful. I've only seen it done twice. <laughs> Successfully. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Were there That's any the awkward moments? Really They're dragging a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blind jokes and math are my forte. Uh, this really mm. fell on your wheelhouse, Sal. Oh man. Have you have you ever been with an older man? No. <laughs> Check <them. laughs> Were there any genuinely awkward moments hanging out with a blind guy? No, he's cool. Oh, you have a long drive back to Houston tonight. That's what it sounds like to me. All right, Trey. There you go. Did you try to jerk off in the room really quiet? No, <laughs> no Wait, panting? He, he's the one that's not 100% blind. Yeah. Like, he can see, like, a yeah. pin, right? He can see through a pinhole. Wow. Here, oh, so up. then he can see your dick if it's out. That's oh. what you're saying. He's here? All right, tell him I'm waving to him. <laughs> All right, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that was, that was fun. You know, I'm going to agree with Sal on this. Efficiency, definitely. You, in 60 seconds, you were able to pack an enormous amount of mediocre jokes into <laughs> a set. But uh, it was fun, man. Thank you're, you. You're edgy. All that, you're talking about real stuff. People do notice your weird height. You ever, you have a, any jokes about how you look like a child? About how you don't seem like you should be saying the dirty things that you're saying? Uh, I had a joke that I look like a 17-year-old who rapes 17-year-olds. Dude, nice. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Dude. All right, there he goes. Let's move on. Trey Thompson, everybody, living his dreams. He drove 20 hours for this. Make some noise, guys. He's on Twitter at Tall and Oats. Ooh, Tall he, uh, and Oats. <laughs> he fucking... He looks like Dan Soder's like, lighting double or something. <laughs> really disturbing. It just hit me. Uh, I like this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Seeker of the Ooze lighting that we have up here today. Yeah, it made Trey look very creepy. It made him have a double eyebrows because he's wearing glasses. Something to keep an eye on later, well, especially if you're listening to this podcast right now. You got the power ballad lighting. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Another uninterrupted 60 seconds goes to Benjamin Harrison. Here we go. Here comes Benjamin. I don't want to be a bummer, you guys, but uh, did any of you guys hear that Bob Barker died today? Oh, jeez. Yeah. He's hit by a brand new car. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I hate people my own age. Uh, I think it's because we throw the word savage around too much. Like, you go to a bar, see two dudes hanging out, one dude will shotgun a beer, throw the can on the ground, and his buddy will be like, yo, dude, that was fucking savage, bro. No, it wasn't. It's not like you burned down someone's hut, stole their horses, and enslaved their family, and then shotgunned a beer, because that would be fucking savage, bro. <laughs> I mean, you might date rape someone later, but you got nothing on Genghis Khan, like... 
I'm not saying we should use the word less. I'm just saying you should at least like systematically destroy an entire culture first, but whatever. Um, I got one for a red pen. Uh, do you guys know that dogs have periods? Yeah, I got... <laughs> I got a dog and I didn't know that until it was too late. It was like the most surprising set of red wings in history. Uh, that's what I got. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, There man. he is. Benjamin Harrison giving Red Band a shout out before a joke. Thanks this for is that. A very joke. special episode of uh, All Children Only Kill Tony. <laughs> I like this. Last guy looked like a seventh grade basketball player. You're clearly the linebacker. Yeah. I think he's a pro. You've gotten paid before, right? Uh, yeah, I just got paid for my first uh, feature spot uh, recently. I uh, like the Bob Barker joke. As corny as it was, it made me laugh. And I'm not a laugher. Uh, I, I pride myself on not laughing at people like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. It's true. I, I let the uh, Barker joke marinate. And it's like an aftertaste of something when you eat it. It's like all of a sudden, it was like, wait a minute. No, that was funny to me. <laughs> um, I also like how you seamlessly transitioned from Bob Barker jokes to eating dogs, pussies on period jokes, and rape jokes. Look, it was, I don't, it was I don't, seamless. Yeah. I don't feel good about yeah, telling you that went, joke you, anymore. You either. went straight from the plinko yeah. to the stinko. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like to call it eclectic, eclectic comedy. <laughs> Did he I just have a write that right then? <laughs> the plinko. I have a question. <laughs> in, in what in the plinko? In my defense, I never tell that joke anymore, but I was like, yeah, you know, Red Band always tells the grossest shit on this, so I was like, I gotta, I gotta bring it out. And bust it out. You just there got you paid go. for your first feature set and you've already retired material? No, I just... That's fucking fantastic. You know what, I'm putting this one to bed. <laughs> Obviously not forever. I just don't, I don't like it. It grosses me out. <laughs> you live here uh, in Austin? No, I'm from Corpus. Corpus uh, Christi. Why do you think I like period jokes anyway? No, 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 don't start, Brian. No, Brian I have Brian. no oh, idea why. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. All He's right. wearing a Tampax shirt, podcast listeners. Um, what do you do for work? Uh, just some bullshit desk job. What well, type of bullshit desk job? Keeping logs and records, you know, like filing. Those are the types of logs that you work with? I'm surprised. Yeah, like, I, you know, I'll... <laughs> When you said you worked at a bullshit desk job, I was about to like interject and say, oh, don't do that. Don't say that about yourself. And then you said keeping like logs and records. I'm like, oh, shit, it was a bullshit desk yeah. job. Uh, <laughs> I have an important question, I think. How long are those sleeves when they're not rolled up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, way too long. <laughs> they're still uh, too long. <laughs> so you're doing observational comedy now. I, I, I keep... <laughs> I, uh, I, become more I, I really like the, like the Bob Barker joke that you led with set a tone for me. And yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Because even if it was corny, it was the kind of joke that I, I don't necessarily not think corny is not funny. You know what I mean? And then it was hard for me to, to transition into the, to the gross stuff in, within one minute. But I guess that's the nature of this. But I thought you did pretty good, man. How old are you, Benjamin? I appreciate it. Uh, 23. 23. You're in Corpus Christi, Texas, one of the godforsaken places on this planet. That yeah, just I, truly, truly the worst. I actually did a, a guest spot when you came by the pizza place. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you remember that. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I've erased all, <laughs> well, you know, erased all of that. You were just, like, mad the entire time. That, like, ma that, yeah. that makes sense, Benjamin. Let's keep this about you, Benjamin. <laughs> Let's keep this about you. Thank you. Thank you. You got me there, Benjamin. Very so good. So secretly working in the pizza parlor comedy. Very good, <laughs> yes. They, they pay a lot of money for a pizza parlor. Shout out to my agent, Ari, who's uh, somewhere actually here. They pay a lot of money. It's a fucking pizza parlor, though. I was furious. The golden pepperoni. <laughs> it ate my soul immediately. I realized what selling out really felt like. Shout out to the owner of that comedy club if he's here. <laughs> Made the short drive. Did from you Columbus. ever do the thing in? I'll a, never have him at my pizza place again. <laughs> have you ever done? There's a place in Florida that was like a, a comedy club. It was like a fish restaurant, also. Oh yeah, I've uh, heard about that. Hook him, yeah. Captain Brian. Yeah, okay. off the hook or something like that. But like while you're doing it, they're bringing out like you know a whole salmon to a table <laughs> while you're. It's, it's, <laughs> That's a salmon sound, if yeah, you're wondering. That's all I got. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> Man's friend in the sea. So you're 23. You're stuck in Corpus. You don't like, what keeps you in Corpus? you have a lady or something? Uh, I do have a girlfriend, surprisingly. How long have yeah. you two been dating? A um, few months now, uh, since February. Where'd so you meet her? Three. I'm uh, good I, at math okay. if you want me to do it for you. No, no. So okay. <laughs> it's two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where'd you meet this? Don't worry, I'm, I'm you guys quick. Are gonna, I'm yeah, quick. You, you guys are going to fucking destroy me for this, but she actually plays D&D at the place I play Magic the Gathering, so... Uh, that's, oh, alert. Alert. That's, you, that's usually the, the situation when someone goes, I have a girlfriend, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Next. you make it very believable. <laughs> I cast a spell on her. Where, where is this place where people can play D&D and Magic the Gathering? Is it inside of a high school locker? <laughs> Tony's trying to find out who books it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'll need an opener, Benjamin. You say this place is packed, or...? <laughs> <laughs> where are my nerds at? How, how long have you been doing it? Uh, a year and some change. And re- only here in Texas? Um, I've been here for like a year and some, some change. change yeah. 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 Do you know Billy Bonnell? Wait, where, you know he, Billy Bonnell? He, he, it's he, like a Billy Bonnell clone. There you go. Hold up a picture of Billy Bonnell, everybody, uh, right. if you want to laugh at that one Comedian. later on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess he sort of looks like and Billy he's Bonnell. From, and Billy's from corporate, cor- I think. This is, is that true? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's hard to get up here for sure, especially in front of a crowd like this. You seem like a really sweet guy. I'm rooting for you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna like cry. Right. Do you and your do you and your don't definitely don't cry, Benjamin. Okay. Uh, do you and your nerd girlfriend ever do anything like nerdy in the bedroom? Do you guys, you know, is there something that you guys do like tie each other up with like fucking? <laughs> sure, random sound effect out of absolutely nowhere. Nothing, nothing yet. I mean, you know, who knows what the future holds? I don't have know. You guys, <laughs> have you guys had sex? Yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Did that take a while for you to do that? Uh. She has to take off all of her chain mail and armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly like a fast mover, you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. Tell us, tell, what do you mean by that? Let's just talk truth here, Benjamin. <laughs> take, what, what was that noise you guys just made? Blah, 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 blah. Is this a town hall or something? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm not like the dude who's like, oh yeah, like, I'm going to fuck that chick. I'm like... Hey, like, you know. <laughs> yes. I'm like, hey, do you want to, like, cuddle? Maybe, like, look into each other's eyes a little bit, you know? Oh, see where, see oh like, so you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. Shit. His problem. Oh, jeez. So, uh, you know, what was, like, your first... You know, the first date, the first time you hooked up with her, how far did you get? Let's see, first date, um, we actually went out on Valentine's Day, which was a fucking mistake. Uh, <laughs> we, well, we both had been single so long, we forgot it was Valentine's <laughs> Day. And so we went out and we were like, oh shit, it's Valentine's Day. And she Work. actually, she actually uh, came to an open mic that I did, and I was like, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, that was a bigger mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was really rough, but you know, it's whatever. I got I got heckled by a dude who looked like he was in ZZ Top, and then I looked like an asshole. It was whatever. Can you do your whole entire set over with this music playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'm onto something. I think Brian's yeah. onto something. <laughs> yeah. So and then, then wh- and then and I th- came in my pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, what did she say after you got in the awkward thing with ZZ Top? Did you try to explain it like normally it goes better, babe? Like no, that. no, she was really cool about it. She's like, that guy was an asshole. Like, you were doing, you were doing all right. He, he and then had... she was all like, speaking of asshole, want to see mine? <laughs> and you're like, well, normally I'm not a fast mover. Yeah. If, uh, <laughs> if you want to jump right into that shit, what? It was Mr. One of those nice things... Guy. If you want to fuck a role-playing girl on the first date, just start fucking her and yell Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> 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 I know it for the eight people that got it, more than worth it. <laughs> Yeah, at least I got some chicken, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. <laughs> uh. All right, Benjamin. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your Twitter handle Toady McFrog? Uh, it's an old thing from when I was a kid, but I've always liked it. What was the What was the thing from when you were a kid? Toady what? McFrog was like this cartoon character that I came up with. He's like, he's a frog that looks <laughs> like a toad. <laughs> the sad music. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin. Yeah. Wait, tell us Get more about down. <laughs> how old were you when you came up? How old were you when you came up with Toadie McFrog? Like eleven or twelve. <laughs> I thought I thought it was great, you know, whatever. But a, f- a, f- <laughs> <laughs> a frog and a toad. Uh, excuse my ignorance here, but they're two different things. Uh, yeah, evidently. 
They are two different things. I'm not an expert. You know, I just came up with a stupid cartoon. But character. are they or are they not two different things? No, they are. Me. They are. When it comes to Tony McFrog, you are the expert, Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> That's true. You created it with your mind. Now's a math comic, not a zoologist. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it half toad, half frog, or? No, he's a frog that looks like a toad. Huh. But is a frog and a toad? Does, are they two different things? Can well, anyone tell me the no, difference? Um, well, yes, yell at me, are. yes, like everyone knows that. Are they, they both amphibians? <laughs> yes, they are, but they are different things. What is, I, it, what I is the main difference? I don't know. They're like subtle dis- uh, The frog is a little know. bit more of a fast mover. <laughs> <laughs> if frog has webbed feet, it's uh, water-based. Uh, toad is uh, not, can't live underwater. It doesn't have gills. And frog and toad, the book, they were gay. Did you know that? Whoa, know Jesus. That. I didn't know any of that, Brian. Frogs have wet feet. <laughs> I had no idea. I probably knew that at some point, but, you know, whatever. So I would never see a toad in a pond? Right. Yeah, you would see Whoa. a dead one. Whoa, that <laughs> scientist guy just said, right, look at this fucking guy. Josh Brown. <laughs> now. <laughs> what the, point 21 why do you look so smart? What do you do, sir? Sorcerer. Don't shake your fucking head no. I'm going to make you do 60 seconds yeah. if you ever shake your head no to me again like that. <laughs> Don't you ever do that. <laughs> ever. <laughs> He's like, Jigga, what? <laughs> How are you not at the science march right now? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This fucking guy. <laughs> you look like you're constantly discovering things. Yeah. I've like the, the flex cure. capacitor, the 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> the government doesn't want the cure. It wants the treatments. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, Benjamin, it was nice uh, re-meeting you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Maybe I'll see you again at the pizza joint. There he goes, Benjamin Harrison. He's on Twitter at Tony McFrog. Tony McFrog. I was hoping nobody was ever going to find out that I performed at that pizza joint that weekend. (laughs) And it just happened on a big episode. Motherfucker. (laughs) I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Ryan Giles. Here we go. Whoa, right up from the middle. Perfect, perfect music for this because he literally is getting up from the middle of the crowd. We'd have a shaky cam if it was uh, any more prices right. One more time for Ryan Giles, everybody. Come on. What's up, everybody? Uh, I recently moved to Austin from Las Vegas. It was awesome. We had to leave because it started getting very weird. One day my wife came home from the gym and she was all excited and she said, babe, I just met this super buff black guy at the gym and he worked me out so hard. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she said, no, not like that. He's a trainer, but he's also a stripper. And he was telling me how much money they make and I totally think you should do it. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about, babe? She's like, no, no, seriously, not now, but... If you waited like nine months and you really worked out really hard, I think nine months, you could totally get big enough to do it. And I said, honey, I don't think you know what you're talking about. These guys are doing private shows in hotel rooms in Las Vegas. They whip their dick out. It gets crazy. You, it, you don't even know what goes on there. And she's like, honestly, for the type of money he was talking about, if they want to do anything to your dick, I don't even care. <laughs> and I was shocked. I'm like, seriously? Nine months? Do you really think I could do that? You think it could go? That's it. I had one joke. Ryan Giles nailing it. Exactly 60 seconds. Ryan, uh, that was a very fun set. Couldn't help but to notice. uh, Do you always have uh, ambulances and fire trucks as part of your uh, whole thing? There you go. It was aggressive. Uh, You got fire trucked. That's what we call that in comedy. Yes. If you're wondering, you just I, learned something. Yeah, I feel like everything that could have been possible problems for that particular joke happened. Yeah. It was one minute of comedy with a minute and 20 seconds set up. Yep. And then. Thanks to Doc Brown, we went back to the future a little yeah. bit and gave him a little extra and time. Then, and then 30 seconds of the minute uh, of the 30 oddly enough whispering sections of the joke. <laughs> Massive, massive crime happening outside. <laughs> the, the, the odds were stacked against. Ryan, so what are you doing here in Austin? Um, actually, I'm I'm working accounting. Accounting. As what you we could tell by the joke. 
<laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> what were you doing in Las Vegas? I was a bartender on the strip. Have you ever done stand up? Like, do you do it? I have done, never done. This it. was your first time ever doing it. Wow, that's adorable. <laughs> Brian Giles. See, it makes the bad joke better. Right? I could tell some people got really scared when I asked that question. Have you ever done stand up before? Seven yeah, years. Yeah, exactly. Every night Seven. and day since the, the day I was born. I'm the worst ever. <laughs> I mean, that if he a, did it oh, that often, he'd be the worst. Okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But for a first time, it, it, uh, it's, it's not that bad. Yes. Um, I've, I've heard words on the show. What yeah, did definitely. you actually talk about, though? Uh, it was a real story. My wife wants me to be, she wanted me to be a stripper in Vegas. Real. I was going to ask you, that that, that conversation was, was real? 100% real. It was even, it was, it was worse. I was like, you know, they, they get crazy and they touch it and they might suck it. She was like, I don't And it was, that's don't a real conversation. She's like, I don't so give a shit. So it's fascinating to me that that was yeah. a real conversation. Yeah, absolutely. And you're real. telling it. I felt like it wasn't, and so I feel like you'd benefit from that exact same story to tell it with a little more like conviction and emotion behind it, yeah. because if I would have believed it was real as you were telling it, I would have been much more engaged, and I think the payoff would be better. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, your wife that told you that? Yeah. How, long, right. have, how long have you, you been uh, married? 16 years. Whoa. 16 years. She wants years. you to cheat on her bad. I didn't, I didn't for money, realize. For money. She's fine with it. For a certain price. Did you guys get married in fifth grade? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize gay marriage has been legal for that long. I guess time flies, though. Can we see what your moves would be if you, uh, you, if you worked? I don't even know where she got that from. Just, it's that's just a, act you. like you're, you're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, shit. Represent. There you go. Did you guys plan that out uh, before or something? Yes, we did. Commercial for your own product? Hey, why don't you strip, but just enough to show the logo of the company that I own. (laughs) I I hate to echo your wife here, but I believe if you trained in comedy for the next nine months, you could be funny enough to be a male stripper. Ryan, where'd you meet her 16 years ago? That's I met fucking... her in L.A. I'm actually from Hollywood. Wow. Yep. yep. What was... were you doing in L.A.? I grew up born and raised, pretty much. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had... We Your parents in were in uh, show business or something? No, no. Oh. They were just people from the... Landscapers? From the valley. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, after we had kids, we had to move, so obviously Vegas is the best choice from Hollywood. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> For children. <laughs> For children, of course, small children. Mm. What did your parents do? You said it like it was like dismissive, like if it wasn't from Hollywood. Like, no, no, no. they're from the valley. <laughs> Gambling uh, addicts. So you work in accounting. You just did stand up for the first time ever. Uh, what else are you into? What are like your hobbies and uh, fucking? I'm into music. Music, yeah. I play the bass. Make music stuff. Like you that. play bass. I play bass. Are you in a band? No. Have you ever been in a band? Never been in a band. Just a one-man bass a wrecking one man. machine. Dude, do you know how awful... I've said this before. Just playing the bass must be when you are at home. <laughs> you couldn't even play for fun. Dude, I just didn't learn Hotel California. Doom. <laughs> doom, doom. <laughs> boom. Boom, ding. Just like the album, bro. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom, dong. I'm totally oh, killing it right now. I'm nailing I'm crushing it. Crushing uh, it. If there was a rhythm and lead guitar happening right now, you'd see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Like, did you, never, did you just, why haven't you been, you pick up the bass, you imagine one would think that you want to get into a band to then play the bass, well, to practice I, the bass. You can't I be a loner made, and a bass player. Yeah, I always made music, and so, actually my uncle was a musician. He told me if you want to make, make beats, you should learn how to play the bass. So wow. Hip-hop, uh-huh. hip-hop, yeah. Oh, snap. oh, hip-hop. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, okay, and now I'm interested about that, because you're, yeah. like, you're saying that with conviction, that I believe. Yeah. So you use your regular physical bass to make bass beats for hip-hop it. music that you then produce. Exactly. Do, you have, do you ever yeah. write any lyrics for this? Ah, not too many no. lyrics, no. It's you just, all just make hip-hop beats? Yeah. That's hilarious. It's all just instrumental? Yeah. Do you sell them or produce other people's music? I, yeah, I've done, I've produced hundreds of terrible, terrible songs. Uh-huh. You know, if, if you got just one black friend, he could probably play bass for you and rap. And better. Yeah. Yes. And then you could produce that. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. What else are you into other than playing your bass? 
and uh, that's pretty much it. You know, wow. I'm married with kids, so mostly doing that. Wow. Yeah. So you just play the bass, make, and make your wife yells at you for playing the bass. Yes. Is that true? Does she? No, she doesn't care. She, she, she loves it. it. Yeah. Who leaves Hollywood to become an accountant? I gotta get out of here. Follow my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Later, family. If you need me, I'll be in the basement making bass beats. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you accounting for? I work for On It. Wow, oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I just started two months ago. Breaking news: On It is a, a vitamin company uh, owned by Joe Rogan. Absolutely, and, and I'm Mr. Aubrey Marcus. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. great. Congratulations. You certainly have a very even keeled temperament. Thank you. Just some observations. Yeah. Is, is, is that a new mood or alpha brain? <laughs> we we, we <laughs> get all of them for free. I can't imagine you get into an argument with your wife. I'll put it to you that way. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's a real argument. Yeah. What was the last argument good. about? Uh, your dick size. Yeah. Just, uh, Dude, when it does happen, it's going to be like fucking thunder, though. <laughs> He's going to lose his shit. It's going to uh, boil over. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming out into a bass beat. <laughs> huh. Thumping around like Tom Morello. All right, Ryan. Well, it was nice to meet you. Congratulations on your first time ever doing stand up Thank comedy. You, there he goes, Ryan Giles. He's at the Ryan Giles. G I L E S. All right. Very, very likable guy. Very. There he goes, right back to when the When he made seat. that face, it was creepy, though, when he got down on one knee. That was a little unnerving. <laughs> he had that child molester, molester look, you know? <laughs> Jay, look at me when I'm talking. That certain, <laughs> that certain gleam in the eye. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. I don't know if I'm going to say this exactly right. Put your hands together for Matt Fijlulio. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no tenor too, but no I can man. you. If your name's Matt and you signed up for this show and you have a weird last name, then I just said your name. Yeah. Don't play He's fucking like, names. Actually... F-I-G-L-I-U-L-O. Fragile. Here he comes, Matt Fagilulio. <laughs> Whoa. Must be Italian. All right, I'm going to tell you a true story from my life about four years ago. So uh, I was on that Tinder app. Uh, I swiped right and uh, met this chick. Uh, we had a beer, went back to my place, did the adult stuff. Uh -huh. uh, and then the next day, I'm at work. I told her I worked at the Sears Tower in Chicago. Uh -huh. And uh, I get a call from our security desk. And they said, uh, is Matt there? I go, oh, our CTO. Yeah, he's not here. They go, no, Matt Fijulio. <laughs> and I uh, said, oh, that's me. They go, we have a package for you at the front desk. Do we need to send it up to your office? I go, no, 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 I'll come down. So I go down, they go, yeah, it's an edible arrangement from some girl. I go, oh, shit. So I just bring my backpack down and stuff it in there so no one from my work, any of my coworkers, know what happened. So uh, I find out that this chick sent me an edible arrangement from our last night, <laughs> our hookup. So, yeah. That's the end of the story? Yeah. Uh, All right, yeah. Matt to Julio, let's talk about it. I have a thousand questions for some reason. My first one is, is do you have that disease where you age extra quick? That thing? Yeah, I have a baby face. Okay, something like that. Hey, hey Tony. Disease, yeah. baby Can face. Can I just say how much I enjoyed how true that story was? <laughs> yes. It wasn't funny, but talk about integrity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just a true story. I don't do stand. Obviously. This is what we've been looking for Matt, in comedy. Wait a minute, he just said he doesn't do stand-up. Stop it. I have a real job. Yes, you do. I have a real job. Matt, slight comedy advice. Whoa. What's your real job? I'm an IT consultant. Whoa. Oh, you lived in Hollywood? And let me <laughs> no, I don't live in Hollywood. All Honestly, right. if, you, if you fuck that good that people are sending you edible arrangements the next day, let's go in the back, buddy. Yeah, so let's get into it. I'm a little confused, because why would you be embarrassed that somebody sent you an edible arrangement? Well, because I also work for my dad's company, and I don't need him to know. You don't, your dad doesn't think that you're having sex yet? How old are you? <laughs> What'd you do to that girl, son? 
Also, you said you have a goddamn stack of pancakes and bananas. <laughs> also, when an edible arrangement is delivered, everyone's assumptions not like, oh, he fucked last right. night. <laughs> what, what, oh, shit, what, melon balls in a watermelon basket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is that an edible arrangement? Who did you fuck last <laughs> night? Fajilla Gunny got his dick wet last night. <laughs> like, unless it was literally like just a banana going into a cantaloupe shaped like a pussy with like pube kiwi toppings yeah. on top. Oh, and like then maybe some like coconut shavings for like jizz on the belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that exactly. got so real. A little, a little, a yeah, little chocolate on the bottom. His dad sees his dad sees the arrangement. He's like, my little boy's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat sit in the cradle and the silver spoon. A little boy blue and the man on the moon. Matt, I have uh, one small piece of comedy advice. You got to pick something to do with your hands. <laughs> that yeah, was very distracting. You stood like a superhero for ten seconds. Uh. <laughs> then you got all fucking Henry Rollins on it. Back to superhero, then a weird like, I'm listening, but I don't like you. <coughs> All right, you're my boss, so I can't say shit, but I don't like what you're saying. It was bizarre. Now he's got the uh, thumbs in the pockets only. Uh... Oh, now it's the fucking Marky Mark Calvin Klein poster. <laughs> <laughs> he's now switched it up to only the thumbs out of the pockets. Yeah. Uh... If you got... <laughs> If you lift up your shirt and you got those lines and muscles that go down to your dick, I'm going to fucking send you an edible arrangement. <laughs> now he truly doesn't know what to do. He's doing the old corpse hands yeah. now. Just completely dead. That is a door now. There's yeah. nothing you can do with your hands nothing that we will not, right. we are not waiting to make fun of. Yeah. He just uh, shut his mouth. <laughs> Oh, what, what, happened with the girl? what happened with no. the girl? Do oh, look, he's doing the stupid know. face hands never, now. <laughs> never, uh, oh, never back to the weekend of Bernie's no. dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk. They'll keep commenting on your hands. This is fun. No, Come wait. on, give this guy a, a hands, everybody, please. No, I was being... That was another hand joke. I didn't want you to actually... Wait, wait, don't go. Don't no. go. I'm, we're not done. No, I have so many fucking <laughs> questions for you still. This girl, you'd never talk to her ever again? No. I have a question. Why? Okay, so wait. So she's she's fascinating to me because you met on Tinder. You had you said one beer. Well, and like yeah, I'm trying to kill the details in the story. Which, which by details the way, are good? Okay. Can we let's just go in chronological order? First of all, I am sort of shocked that Tinder was out four years ago. You may be able, you may have been one of the first people on Tinder, right? Is that like when it started? Yeah, about five years ago, yeah. Oh, I don't He's know. an IT consultant for Tinder. <laughs> Did you have on your Tinder profile, yeah, yeah, loves yeah. melon balls? Great job. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you told her where you worked on this. Uh, I said generally this year's tower. I didn't tell her what floor or anything, so she didn't know where to send it. Whoa, she found you in the... the, the wait, the Sears... No, no, she just sent company it director. the tower. <laughs> wait. That's one of the bigger buildings, right? It's, yeah, yeah, it's... it's it's a few details. Few, details. Semantics. So she like tracked you down to send yeah, you. She wants to... Okay, here's the million dollar <laughs> question. What the fuck exactly was in this edible arrangement? It was one of the smaller ones. Uh, I brought it home. <laughs> we, and then we, the know, next... we know it fit in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, my uh, roommate ate it because I didn't care. It what was, was in it? That's how little Chocolate strawberries. He died later that evening. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was in it? Strawberries and what? Six covered strawberries. Six chocolate covered chocolate strawberries. Covered strawberries. That's it. <laughs> that barely qualifies as an edible arrangement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a. She just sent you six strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> six loose strawberries. He's, call <laughs> he's calling it an edible arrangement. Okay. He's punching up the story. She was a fucking homeless person. <laughs> That brought him six fucking strawberries like they were fucking magic beans. <laughs> and, his, and his Ziploc bag full of potato chips. Six. Was it an old lady? These were the details I left out. <laughs> Please bet me again, Vigilicati. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you made it seem like this was because you did her good. She got that Fajululuyo dick and just it was amazed afterwards. 
All right, take, uh, it, it, don't do your arms like that. I know we've been fucking with you, but that's truly the worst one. You don't want to do that. No one wants to be talking to their high school wrestling coach. All, fuck you up. all fingers in pockets now. <laughs> Ten in the pockets. Ten in the Thumbs pockets. Thumbs in, fingers in, all the way. For those of you listening, it is an anomaly. He has doubled down, and when told to do anything but cross his arms, he has locked his hands in his own pockets. There are not many pocket variations left. It's almost like there's Chinese finger traps. Oh, oh no, don't do that. Oh, wow. Oh, just go dead hands. Just go dead hands, Matt. Okay. Turn around and look at us backwards. I want to see what that looks like. Jeez, Brian. Yeah, yeah, take off your hat, though. Oh, now, look, does he have a Death Squad tattoo on the back of his head? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so Matt, um, w- w- what do you think that you do in the bedroom that made this edible arrangement of six loose strawberries <laughs> come your way? Like, what, what, Do you have a special move in the bedroom that you do on a girl? It's a secret. I can't tell you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Matt, I'm never going to be hooking up with the same girl that you hooked up with. You don't have to worry about that. You just got your frigiole secret- heat. <laughs> What, what do you do? Do you do the old, uh, you uh, give Big it the, old, the old dead hand fingering? <laughs> <laughs> just whisper in her ear. How do you like it? I can go just thumb. I can go four <laughs> fingers. What do you do with? I can go all hand in. I have another, a, yet another million dollar question for you, Matt. What do you do with your hands when you're fucking? <laughs> just, I feel like you were old school porn star. The name's Matt. Hello? Matt Fijlulio. And to you... answer your next question, I love fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, did you, uh, it was your takeaway that this must be a, a crazy person? That... Uh, yeah, she was crazy. Did you go down on her? Did you go down on her and you were all like, ooh, look at this edible arrangement? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> this looks like, this reminds me of loose strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Your pussy smells like loose Wait, you, you said yes, she was crazy with conviction. So, did you know she was crazy before the edible arrangement arrived, and that was just like the icing on the? No, so it was, it was just, the icing on the strawberry. <laughs> 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 was that just the chocolate on the loose strawberry? <laughs> no. Wait. So y- wait. So she was normal, and the only thing that makes you think that she was crazy was the edible arrangement. So this could be just a wonderful person. Probably. Probably. Uh, You're all over the charts. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. I, I want to come away with this feeling like I know what happened. Did, this did could you? have been a really nice girl. What, what, what was your least favorite thing about her until she sent you strawberries at work? Six loose covered strawberries that if your dad found out about that, he would have been pissed. <laughs> Son, I'm really disappointed in you. Chocolate covered strawberries. I remember when your mom first sent me six loose strawberries. <laughs> Although, if you, got, if you had sex with someone and told your dad the next day that that person sent you some uh, loose strawberries, you'd think your son was fucking a guy. <laughs> son, you could have told me a different way. You didn't have to have six loose chocolate-covered strawberries sent to our workplace. Honey, our boys eating chocolate strawberries. I think it's time to have a talk. In my day, you know, there was... No edible arrangements. <laughs> you gave a woman a crack in the mouth in cab fare. <laughs> Did I get an answer out of you, Matt, on what was your least favorite thing about her was up until the edible arrangement? The Is dick. there anything a little off about her? This girl could have been perfect. You liked her. You had sex with her. Oh, Everything God. seemed great. She sent you strawberries, and you're like, fuck she you, was a bitch. Intense, I guess, yeah. Intense. Huh? Strawberries is intense. Did she have an extended labia? Was okay, the sex Brian, good? Brian, Brian, Brian. You, did you just break? Did you just have a stroke no, or I mean, something? Was the, was the sex uh, good? Was, was the sex not good for you? It was good. Keep in mind, your father might listen to this. Oh, that's true. We're going to send it to him. <laughs> Son, you fucked up this time. Talking about the family business? Loose strawberries? Right. Uh, here, here I am in my office. But another day in the office as usual. And I, I, I looked down the hallway and there was strawberries all over the place. Everybody's fired. Is this the man I've been raising? What's, what is your dad's company? What do you guys do? 
They're, we're a consulting firm. Wow. For software. They're for a chocolate covered cherries company. <laughs> <laughs> no strawberries in my car. All right. There he goes. Matt Fletcher. He's not on Twitter. Matt Fitzlulio. How fun. You guys having fun out there or what? Yeah. Let's meet another person. Put your hands together for Kyle Long. And he was talking for a new Kyle Long. He said, I'm gonna be wow. like you. Kyle Long. You know I'm gonna be yeah, like yeah, you. Man. Here he comes. Wow, walking in like a bad guy pro wrestler, everybody. Oh, shit. It's about to motherfucking go down. Put your hands together for Kyle Long, everybody. Oh, shit. I'm not drunk. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, my. <laughs> this is some of the funniest stand-up I've ever seen. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing how alcohol doesn't affect some people. So I did mushrooms today. It's fucking cool. So anyways, Blockbuster, do, do you... Shit! Blockbuster! What the fuck? Netflix! <laughs> Netflix is better than Blockbuster, right? <laughs> fuck! <laughs> ah! Fuck Blockbuster! You can suck my dick! Kyle, oh, oh, everybody, I'm that's, not a done. that's a minute. Kyle, 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 relax. Look at me over Give here. Give me a minute. Look at me over here. Dude. Hey, Tony. Taxi versus um, Uber. Uber is awesome. Hey, Kyle, Tony. you got to listen. Start listening. Stop talking. Why don't you listen Kyle, to me? Kyle. Hey, Kyle. 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 To Tony, can I just say Blanca from Street Fighter looks pretty rough? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck you, bitch. Oh! All right, wait. It's back on! Let's Oh, okay. Yes. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, okay, dude. Uh, Kyle, All Kyle. right, bro. Oh, 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 Kyle, 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 over here. Blech. Shut up, Down Syndrome okay. John White. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, why don't you... Hey, uh, Kyle, 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 over here. Okay. What's up, bro? Kyle, we're everything's okay, Kyle. We're going to no, let you go. I was saying... So how long have you been doing stand-up? What? How long have you been doing stand-up? I haven't done it in nine months, but oh. I fucking been. I was gonna go back to it. I okay. Done in a while. Cool. I thought if I want to be a comedian, I should go to L.A. or New York. So, what? So what do you do, Kyle? Uh. He's a full-time garbage pail kid. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, over what? here! Kyle, 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 say, Kyle, bro? Kyle. Whoever's working what? here. What you Whoever, say, you, got, you can't let him. Don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Yeah, he's gone. Wow, Kyle Long, everybody. Just some guy tripping on mushrooms. Don't clap. It's for back him. on the first fight in Kill Tony history! <laughs> Jeremiah defending his ground. Wow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. Let me just say something. Kyle is obviously more of a writer than a performer. <laughs> this is uh, wow. That was that was we, intense. We I felt like I could control it almost a little bit, but then I couldn't. Every time that he looked away from me, it was over. He was completely disengaged. I'm like, Kyle, Kyle, no, 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 no. There was just nothing there. Just went. I can say this unequivocally, I have never been afraid of anybody with freckles. <laughs> <laughs> I will run towards that fight a hundred out of a hundred times. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> Dude, how do you hit a guy holding a saxophone? <laughs> yeah. What an <laughs> asshole. That's like wearing eight pairs of glasses. <laughs> Hey, well, well, what about the, how fucking quick was that bouncer, though, huh? Yeah. That was great, yeah. We got Antonio on the ones and twos, keeping uh, an eye on everything, running a hell of a show. Antonio the Great with Josh Martin and some bouncer that fucking uh, is covered guys, in red pubes right now. I thought you guys talking about me, but whatever. <laughs> but, by the way, I honestly think that full-time Garbage Pail Kid was the funniest thing I've heard in about yeah, a year. Absolutely. Jeremiah, absolutely. I always, I'm annoying about it. I fucking love that guy. And you stood your ground like a fucking hero over there. That was amazing stuff. The sad part about Kyle was that I thought he was fucking hilarious, by the way. I honestly, I mean, I, that might be the greatest segue in 10 years of being around stand-up that I've ever seen. I did mushrooms today, and holy fuck. Blockbuster video. Uh, <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, if you guys uh, would have walked through the raindrops like I did during his set, he did get out some good points. Netflix better than Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. Uber better than cabs. Breaking news. Maybe if he did a TED talk or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this just in. Netflix has passed up Blockbuster uh, in overall stock and company right now. Thank you to Kyle Long for uh, introducing us to that. You guys having fun at this crazy live show or what? This is fucking rock and roll, baby. We should go a little faster, maybe try to get some more well, people. Oh, we're doing in. it. Yeah, we're getting cool. through it. Put your hands together for another one. It's Mike Espinosa. Oh, very excited. Hey, hey Mike, your, uh -huh. Mike, your uh -huh. opener is a hands. <laughs> this is a guy that definitely doesn't want to do anything weird with his hands. He learned that lesson. Mike Espinosa, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, Moon Tower. What's up? Hey, so I just had a birthday. It was a good birthday. It was, a, it was good. I even got my, uh, my birthday sex. But as a married guy with two kids, uh, I got to take a shower by myself. Um, Without the kids watching, it was great, you know. I got to try anal. It was cool, man. It was. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been married for uh, like seven years, and um, you know, keeping the magic alive is tough. You know, it's, uh, we we try a lot of things. I tried to buy some sex toys, and uh, but I'm such a nerd. I I I don't want to take them out of the box. <laughs> Just want. Just want to put them on the wall. Just look at them. Just look at them, babe. There you go. Thank you. That's Thank a you. minute from Mike Espinosa. How long have you been doing stand-up for, Mike? What's that? How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, for a little over a year. Uh, over I had to take a, a break. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a high school teacher. Oh, I was going to fucking guess that. Science? Yes. Oh, my God. You look like every science teacher I've ever seen. I should have just fucking guessed and said ass. Sometimes you guess. Get to class, Tony. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, wow. What uh, grade are you teaching? I teach physics, so uh, it's like... Ooh, a, la, 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 the sciences. I could teach chemistry. I could teach math. Um, <laughs> yeah, science. 11th graders, mostly. Very good. Well, I How old is that? Stand up, motherfucker. <laughs> teach me, Dom. Teach me, Dom. I will, I will you know what child. that sound means. Wait, you're a teacher and He's you just do jokes teacher. about kid fucking? Yes, I have some on those. How old are the kids that. Uh, yeah, the, how old is 11th grade again? Uh, they're of legal age. I want to just get the, uh, this straight. For your birthday, you locked your children out of the bathroom and fisted your own asshole. Is that right? Exactly. It was. The best birthday I've ever had. Apparently, if you hang yourself while doing that, you come hard. <laughs> I don't know. Which birthday was it? I, I just turned 39. 39. How long have you been teaching high school? Ooh, there's, uh, some, there's some big fans of 39-year-olds in the audience over there. <laughs> Woo! I'm 39! Yeah, represent! I, I've been teaching for like five years, and, to, and for two years, I was a stay-at-home dad. For a little while. 
Oh, how old are your you, kids? When you teach, do you just move around? Just your asshole all day? I move around, and I, I try to make it interesting, and I point. Wait, I, those, you have tiny arms, though. Do people are... Have you been told that before? I got Most a laser to use. Oh. Do they still use chalkboards nowadays? We use chalk. We use um, yeah. dry that erase markers. Weird. You can get them a blockbuster, actually. Yes. <laughs> what happened what do do? to the Trapper Keeper? Oh, that's a good question. Five star trapper keepers. Yes. Should I run up and just punch Jeremiah now or something? <laughs> or what? I don't know. What to, I don't know what to do. I don't Kyle, know what to do. I know Kyle. Kyle is my friend, and you know. Why you know would you say, say that? You know him, really? uh, I know that guy. Did, do, do you, you know, know Kyle? Him? Do you know Kyle because you teach him? He was science? one of my. He was my best student. No, nah, nah, just kidding. Oh, you do you know him? Really know? We can't yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. He's he's. I've seen him around the open mic scene. You didn't tell me you taught special ed too. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, man! Yeah, Kyle, I'm coming for you! <laughs> Listen to this podcast on iTunes, you bitch! <laughs> for those of you listening to the podcast... Uh, Heel turn! Kyle is banging on the back windows with boxing gloves on right now, <laughs> waiting for this show to be over. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that you follow, follow mushroom-fueled brawls a lot around town with Kyle? That's all Austin comedy is. It's just this crazy guys like that, you know. But it's fun. It's a good times here. Yeah. What do you do for fun to get away from uh, the Kyle. other than <laughs> yeah? Get away from the kids and the wife and Kyle. When you're not doing stand up, what else are you into? Uh, I go. I watch a lot of concerts, music. Uh, Austin's great for music. I read a lot. Do you, you ever, uh, do you ever see the the, uh, the bass player Ryan Giles? I never have. Never seen him. Sick beats. Sick yeah. beats. Boom, 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 a one man wrecking machine. The, the uh, nerd not taking out of the box joke was great. A really, oh, really good you. joke. Smart joke. I liked it. Thank you. I like, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Geez. Thank you. Well, what there you cocky go. asshole. <laughs> Thank you. You know what else I love about my work? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, did you have fun here tonight? Uh, I love the Kill Tony podcast. I listen to it nonstop. I've listened to the whole 200 some episodes wow. over is, and over again. I believe 200. I'm obsessed. This one. Seven. 207. You're at right now. Yeah. Boom. There he goes, Mike Espinosa. Thank you very We're much. Keep it moving. Let's try to get another one up here. All right. How about Michael Keeley, everybody? Put your hands together for Michael. This is most likely could be our last comedian of the night. Michael? I don't see anybody moving. Does anybody see Michael? Oh, here he comes. Dom Irera is about to beat the shit out of Jeremiah for some reason. Hey! Is there somebody coming? Yeah, he's coming. Oh, here he comes. Michael Keeley. Oh, God. Oh. So, uh, Tony. I, uh, I have this hobby, uh, I'm, I'm, I like to look up people, like celebrities, like, and see if they're gay. I was mean, just wondering. And I looked up you, and it was really kind of vague. Like, I, I wasn't sure if you're really gay, like, from, from, from your Wikipedia page. Um, so I looked it up, and the person, uh, you know, so I, I think I Twitter messaged you. And you sent me a dick pic, and I was like, all right, fuck. <laughs> I guess I know. <laughs> is Kyle's roommate? <laughs> He's coming to avenge his roommate. <laughs> Wait, start over. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. It's all over now. <laughs> so, by the way, Tony, what, what are you up to, man? What are you fucking doing? This is the baby from Look Who's Talking, grown up. <laughs> Where's the cat? Where's the fucking In cat? the flesh. There you go. Michael Keeley. Uh, that was your time. That's what you chose to do with it. <laughs> now, all of that was a thing. Trying to look up. If I was gay on Wikipedia, you couldn't find out. You DM me. I sent you a dick pic. Oh, you just got fire trucked. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That actually isn't a thing. The city is burning down while we're here. <laughs> just enjoying ourselves. That's it. They're airlifting Kyle somewhere. Somebody called in a... 
Somebody that saw Kyle called in a bomb threat somewhere. I just saw one of Kyle's movies uh, on TV the other day. Um, oh, you did? What's, yeah, it, he, call, what's it called? Uh, he, he played the character Rocky Dennis. <laughs> yeah, you retard, Kyle. Get back in here. We'll go another round. Now, we'll get him to date the blind comic guy. Uh, yeah. I guess no one actually saw the movie. <laughs> Michael, are you the blind friend that Trey Thompson came in with from Houston? If so, that jump to the stage was ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> he was I don't, I've, only seen it, I've only seen it happen twice. Jay, that's how I met my wife, man. Don't, dude, don't fuck around with that joke, dude. Is it a fucking... I don't know who you're talking to or you're looking at. I, I thought Mike Espinosa was, like, making, like, a joke when he's like, no, that's what the Austin comedy scene is. It's people on mushrooms having meltdowns. And I'm pretty sure that... Michael Keeley. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, I've been doing stand-up for, like, three years. Is that true? Yeah. Do you always wear sunglasses on stage? Always. Why is that? Oh, well, just because I'm very self-conscious. About what? About my jokes. Like, I don't think I'm very funny. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather him think you're a jerk-off who wears sunglasses at night? That's a weird choice. Do you wear sunglasses <laughs> when you write your jokes as well? <laughs> I thought it was because you thought your future was so bright. <laughs> That's also a good reason. <laughs> Michael, how do you make a living? I'm um, unemployed. Wow, it took you a long time to figure that one out. <laughs> that was a long up. You, you, you do have the motions of a blind man, though. Like, you, you, right? you're, the way that you're, like, yeah, your head goes up, you kind of look like you could be blind. Yeah. What Fuck time you. do they start doing heroin in this fucking town? <laughs> yeah. That is black tar nods right there. <laughs> if he was a comedian, he'd be Bitch Hedberg. <laughs> I'll behave. <laughs> Bitch Hedberg. Jeremiah's on a fucking tear tonight. I love I it. I want to fight somebody right now. <laughs> the adrenaline's up. You can't open Pandora's box. <laughs> Once you unsheath Jeremiah, he has to taste blood before we put him back. <laughs> Michael, are you on any drugs or anything? Um, yeah, I'm on heroin. Is that true? No. Is that another one of your wacky jokes? I told you they were bad, man. Like, you, just, you gotta accept it. I love it. Man, that is I, such a I, cool... I, I, like, I like how his jokes are just weird lies. But, yeah. <laughs> right when Austin couldn't possibly get any hipper, we find a comedian that is so cool because he knows he's bad and commits to it all the way. This is but a, he, like, no. owns it, bro. You don't get it, dude. He's a real Austin Fuck you. bro. <laughs> My, Michael, you have just to go back to the to, to the podcast, what it's for. You have a funny like demeanor and everything. You seem like you could be a funny guy. Oh, thank you. And um, sunglasses are off for the podcast. Yeah, no, and I would and I would actually say um, I know that you said you're insecure, so you wear the glasses. I kind of get that, but for me, like immediately the first thing I noticed and then latched onto was, you know, sunglasses indoors kind of guy. I think it brings more negative attention to you and then, like, I don't focus on the jokes. I'm trying to figure you out instead of listening to your material, so... Well, I had a better joke about Tony cocklocking me last night, but I just I didn't want to tell it. I was just, uh, yeah, that had you, nothing to do with what joke, I just said, but it's so right. There's a whole bunch going on here, too, Michael. <laughs> Is it, do we not, when you're not doing this show, are all of your jokes about fake Tony Hinchcliffe stories? Like, is this the thing you're just working out and you coincidentally pulled you out of the bucket for my show? Or, like, just at Austin open mics? Like, well, I messaged Tony Hinchcliffe today. <laughs> People are like, yeah, he's doing it! This is the guy I told you about with the sunglasses with the no punchlines thing! <laughs> I've, I've done this show now, Tony. You've been uh, gracious enough to have me on. This is probably my fourth or fifth time doing it. Uh. And this is by far the most adversarial comedy show I've ever been a part of. <laughs> it is, man. People are very angry. I feel like adversarial. This is like, I feel like this is like uh, I'm pulling out a bunch of like Atlanta Falcons right after <laughs> the Super Bowl. All right, Michael, we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna get one more comedian up here. Congratulations, you took a chance. Michael Keeley, everybody, take the safe route, Michael. Okay, there you go. 
You guys ready for one last comic? We're almost out of time, everybody. You guys ready to fucking do this shit or what? I said, are you ready for one more fucking comedian? Wow, this is a goddamn anomaly. Put your hands together for Joey Fijlulio. There's Joey Fijlulio? Is it going to be Is that humanly wig? possible? Matt's father. Wait, the, the edible arrangement? <laughs> he was here. He's here. Holy Well, God. I signed up when I found out my son sent strawberries. <laughs> Holy shit, it's real. It's Joey Fijlulio. The brother, clearly. <laughs> True story to, to tell before this. Oh, here we go. Uh, the guy who just went is my future brother-in-law. And yes, the guy who did the edible arrangements is my brother. Holy shit. We don't do stand-up, so... Surprise, surprise. All right, so since you destroyed my brother with the hand joke, I'm going to just... Do the joke, uh, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> uh, no, but our name is Filio, and it's actually spelled with a G. So what I like to do is, uh, when everyone who's like, Filio, spell that for me, I go F as in Frank, I, G as in Nat. They go, excuse me? I go, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, G as in Gnome. And they, they just don't pick up on it, and so I'm like, okay, listen here. G as in gnome. And they, just still, they still don't get it. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, my, my family's not comics, I know. I need to keep them here. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's so easy to attack my family beforehand when they... Oh, thank you. There you go, Joey Fiulio. There we go. <laughs> you fucking did it, dude. Step back up to the mic. That was great, man. Joey, how, uh, how do you think it's going to feel now that you did good and your brother didn't? <laughs> You're clearly the one that got the comedic uh, I, chops in the I'm family. I'm shit right now. I, I don't do this. So. When well, you go home tonight now, do you get to fuck the apple pie? <laughs> <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> did you notice he just put his hands in his pockets? I'm not there they go. He's... Hey, everybody knows I'm he's not got an these, apple guy, I'm a cherry guy. It's okay, he's just got those wacky Fulio hands, hands, you know guys. what I mean? I don't know the what to do it's with the, the Hardy uh, Brothers. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try to knock it out quick. We're running out of time, Joey. What do you, uh, what do, you do for work? Uh, I'm a software salesman. Oh, actually, you're yeah. just as boring as the last one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. You look like you're about to deliver a baby. <laughs> have no, you ever? I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Have you ever, That's what I'm doing. Have you ever fucked a girl so good she sent you an edible arrangement? <sighs> no, probably you a work restraining your, order. But that's do you work about for it. your? Do you work for your dad's company as well? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, wow, look who not flew anymore. the coop. What do you do? Uh, I'm software sales. I oh, I software it. sales, but yeah. a different company altogether. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is some Fulio hands music for those of you that ever want to do the do the Fulio. Uh, 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 uh. It's like an Arabian type of dance. No, first you, time ever. You need stayed? to come to a wedding. You're good. You'd fit right in. Perfect. I will. That's your time. There he goes, Joey Fulio. Everybody. That's our end of our episode. You made it through Kill Tony, episode 206, live from Austin, Texas, Seven. the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Make some noise for each of them independently. The great. Sub Volcano, everybody! Yeah. Big Joe Okerson! Dome Arena! Jim Larkin! Brian Redburn, Josh Martin, and Tony on the ones and twos. Anything you guys want to plug or anything like that coming up? Jeremiah, go ahead. Watch Big J Ogerson's CISO show. We're on the first episode. Yes, I am also on that. That's on yes, CISO indeed. right now. I did a uh, segment as well. Absolutely. Check that out on CISO. Dom Irera? I'll be at Boca Raton next week. And uh, if you're in Kilkenny, Ireland, the first week of June, I'll be there at Kilkenny. If I'm you're listening from Boca Raton or Kilkenny, Ireland, <laughs> you just got fucking the most awesome news. Your One of my favorite comedians markets. is coming there live. I'll be at a pizza parlor in Corpus Christi next week. No, I won't be. If you're oh. listening in Corpus, that was a joke. Please don't show up and then tweet at me that you're mad. 
That shit happens. Well, one more thing. Uh, if there's any Reagan and Watkins fans, I got some free stickers for you guys that I'll give you guys out front. Oh, if, I think uh, you're going to be running out of stickers tonight. Protect now, him for us. Protect him for us. Season what of Impractical Jokers? Uh, one of my favorite fucking shows in the world. Yeah. Six, six, six is on now. Season six. Yeah, with uh, hopefully some more coming. Uh, Brian Redman, we did it. Another did. one. Austin, Texas. This was Kill Tony. We'll see you tomorrow, Houston. Yeah, we're live in Houston, Texas tomorrow from the secret group. That's almost, I believe, sold out. And uh, that's everything. Thank you so much, live audience. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I love you. Good night. <laughs>